The Caribbean Cultural Music Conference held an informative two-day forum of discussion on music management and the business side of the music industry on a whole. In attendance were music industry professionals, managers, and artists. There was a case uh, from the 90s where this, this artist and the manager didn't have a contract. Um, and the manager didn't get paid, so he sued the artist. Um, and the artist said, oh, well, there's nothing in writing, we don't have a form of contract, and you know, there's this thing, I don't want to bore you with it, called the statute of frauds, which says that about five or six specific contracts have to be in writing. And there was plenty of emails between the parties talking about their management relationship that this manager brought to the court, and that was sufficient to finding that there was a management contract, and there were certain terms, such as the payment and the compensation that was there. Um, so I'm glad that you raised this, and I hope for the people who are here, or if you're an artist or a manager, that you take the time to have a fully fleshed out contract. Author David Wise, in his book, gives pointers on good artist management and ways to market oneself. This will help. You mentioned one idea before when we were talking, and you basically were saying that artists shouldn't uh, be afraid to step out there themselves to find someone of you know with good supervision so how can that benefit them if they do step out there themselves mm -hmm. looking for someone that's a good question music supervision for artists who are interested in using music supervision as a way to further their careers diversify their revenue streams it's a very powerful tool uh, in in part because this is something that that I believe they can effectively manage and control themselves uh, you don't need a manager you don't need a record label uh, you don't need representation or a publisher these things help if, if you have these uh, powerful forces going to bat for you that's great but uh, there's also in in the uh, music industry today I believe that we have to uh, understand a lot that no one is going to work harder for ourselves than than us. And author Stephen Garden in his book spells out the rules and regulations in today's new industry. You know the digital age has wrought havoc on the traditional business models. Big record companies are not so big anymore. They've laid off thousands of employees as well as dropped many many artists. So everybody is struggling to find a new way to succeed because the old model has broken down. Now there are lots of new ways to succeed and lots of new opportunities and that's what I want to educate people about who read my book. I'm trying to get an understanding how you would work with an up-and-coming artist that doesn't have the big record label money behind them anymore um, to fund all of these operations and you evaluate those opportunities based on what they have in place now to go forward. The one beauty about what we do as Ray Craig because of our extensive relationships globally, we're able to create opportunities. Uh, like you're saying, instead of waiting for something to come to us, we create shows, we create events that we're able to generate. So that's where some of the funding comes from. Artist manager Victor Lewis also spoke with us. Would you agree that most of the artists out there within the Caribbean genre need better management and better supervision? <laughs> I mean, I would like to say better management, but I'd say just, just better guidance in general. And that comes from the manager, that comes from who you surround yourself with, the team, from a PR, you know, prospective um, management here. Yeah. But, you know, they just need to take it a lot more seriously and not just look at it from one angle of how much they could get. You know, yeah. keep it a career thing. Here is what founder Junior Forbes had to say about the Caribbean Cultural Music Conference. For 2011, we were just expecting, basically, at an, giving another opportunity to raise the level of the Caribbean cultural music product. And uh, as it stands right now, with the partnership, uh, like Victor and other panelists and sponsors like Red Stripe and, and Tower Eyes and others, we have got what we needed.